We've got Michael Cheekam, back rower. You can feel into the centre, the South City Rabbitohs. Um, how's the pre-season been, mate? Nah, it's been good, eh? Um, it's been pretty tough. It's been pretty we'll be tough, just, you know, pretty tough. Be um, all the boys have been working hard, and um, it's been a bit of a weird one with COVID and stuff. Having to deal with COVID and that now. And, uh, but it's been, it's been pretty good. Yeah, a lot of stop starting, but um, what about cultural wise? What's it like coming into a, a club like the Rabbitohs, mate? We don't just don't worry about on the field, but um, yeah. South Cares off the field, some of the great yeah, things yeah. they do, mate. Um, definitely, the, coming here just feels like a family here. Um, you know, my first day of training, um, everyone come up to me, even to this day, you come into training, everyone shakes your head, like, you shake, go around to all the boys, you know, just feel like a big, big family here, and um, no, it's been nice. You know, I did the self care when I came here the first day, the first few days we went out to I don't think there were that many fans like it's true what they say, like the Rabbitohs fans everywhere. We went out to like Camden and stuff. Usually that's like Tigers land and stuff. But there was all these Rabbitohs fans up there and stuff. But no, it's been missing man. And what do you got to say for the South Sydney fans um expectations on you this year, mate? Oh, right. I always give my effort man. Um, just you know, when I get my opportunity, um, you know, just to put on that jersey that has so much history. Um, just even, for, even this weekend, um, getting put on the red and green for the first time. Um, just getting boost my feeling that I can't wait. Um, but yeah, no, I'm really excited. You got some memories of you broke South Hearts fans there once a few years ago there, mate. Next to time, picked up a loose ball, uh, ran 40, 50 metres. I don't know. That was a pretty special moment for you, but hopefully you can do that to the Tigers this year, mate. Yeah, 100%. Right, that'll be good. Mate. Do it against them. And have you been here long enough to sort of build up a little bit of dislike for the Roosters? It's, uh, it's oh, certainly... Yeah, I've noticed that. Like, I can't like, say the word hate, it's too strong a word, but we sort of dislike them a bit, mate. Yeah, they're, they're cross-town rivals. You haven't experienced it yet, but uh, um, if you're selected in round three, mate, you'll, you'll certainly feel it. Yeah, nah, hopefully, bro. I, I, I don't like the Roosters anyway. I'm if I'm doing it anyway, so it's a big good aim. And um, we've lost a few characters in the club last year. Obviously, yep. you weren't here, like Benji's, your, your Adam Reynolds, your, your Wayne Bennett's. Um, who's sort of the, the class clown or the or the pest, so to speak, this year? Who's taken that that ball up? Cody, yeah, Cody's the biggest pest, man. <laughs> He's the big pest, man. Cody, Cookie, like, all the boys. Everyone's good mates, man. Just, uh, a lot of camaraderie in here. Uh, everyone gets along, gets along with each other. No little groups. But, yeah, man, it's good, man. Thanks for your time. Good luck on the season, Thanks, brother. Bro.